Hello, this is Joseph Palmer at the Autodidact Scratch Pad. Today I'm going to show you in less than 10 minutes how to create this scene of three dice in Blender. Beginning with a blank workspace, create a cube. Set its size to 16 millimeters, which is the size of a standard die. Raise it by 8 millimeters along the Z axis so its bottom face is aligned with the XY plane. Go into edit mode and subdivide the cube so its sides each have 9 faces. The die pips will be placed in these faces. Position the 3D cursor at the center face of side 1. Add a bevel modifier and apply it before we add the pips. Add a material and assign it to the die. We are going to modify the viewport setting to make it easier to see things. The material color is applied to the viewport display so we can see the colors without going into the rendering view. Create a nicosphere, which will appear at the 3D cursor that was pre-positioned at the center of side one of the die. Assign a black color to the pip. Make sure to also apply this color to the viewport setting of the materials tab. Now create a pip on phase two. Go into edit mode and position the 3D cursor at the top left face. Add in an array modifier to the sphere. Set the count to two and spacing in the Y and negative Z direction should be 2.5 times the diameter of the pip. Add a sphere to side 3 of the die, and also give it an array modifier. This time increase the count to 3, and spacing in the x and y direction should be 1.25. For phase 4, we add two array modifiers. The first is in the horizontal direction, the second in the vertical. On to phase 5. This will be done in the same way as for phase 4 except that for the fifth pip, we will move the cursor to the center of the face and add it separately from the first four pips. For face six, we will use two array modifiers, but for the second modifier, we will increase the count to three and decrease the spacing to 1.25. With all pips added, next we join all of them into one object. Select all created pips, making sure that the last selected is the first pip on side one. Now to the white die, assign a boolean modifier. Set the object to the combined pips object. Under solver options, change the materials to transfer. Last, apply the boolean modifier. The die is complete and we are ready to create the scene, duplicate the die, and render the result. Create a plane object. Go into edit mode, select two neighboring edges, extrude them in the z direction to create walls. Select the three edges connected to the corner and apply a curved bevel. Go back into object mode and apply auto smooth to the floor. Add an area light and position it directly above the die. Then add a point light and position it next to where we will place the camera. Add the camera next to the point light and orient it however you think best. Split the screen horizontally. The left side will be the rendered view, the right the materials view. Then split the right side again vertically and the new view set to the shader editor view. Select the floor object and assign a material. I created a simple textured material based on the wave texture node, the output of which is connected to the principal BSDF's roughness input. I then uh, adjusted the settings of the wave texture node to give the uh, texture a wood grain look.
Next, select the die and enable subsurface scattering so that we get more of a plastic look to its texture. Also decrease the roughness. Select slot 2 of the die material, which is the PIPS black material. Set its subsurface scattering parameters to match that of the white material. Now we duplicate the die and assign different colors. Rotate each die in random directions so different faces are shown. Try positioning one of the die on top of another to get a more interesting scene. Under the result here, and I first render it in Eevee to get an initial view. Add depth of field to the camera to get a more realistic view. Uh, adjust with the f-stop settings until it looks good. Um, I reposition the camera slightly to get a view of the horizon and then render it again in Eevee. And here is the uh, final rendering in cycles. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. This is the Autodidact Scratchpad. Be happy, my friends.